Hey there! Today we're going to talk about AI assisted animation and how it works. So stick around and you're going to find out how to go from this to this or even this. Let's jump into it here. I'm going to link a few videos, um, a couple of other people who've done this already and they've done a good job and that's who I learned from was doing this on YouTube with others. So. Here we go, I dropped my video into Premiere Pro. I like using Adobe, because it has a lot of options. I'm cutting it down, getting where I want it to be. So now that I've shortened it, drop it back, got rid of the beginning, gonna take off the end, get it right where I'd like it, and boom. So right there, all right. Now I have to export this video. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna export this We'll want to export this, but not as a MP4 or a video of any kind. We want to export it as a PNG sequence. And I put the number one because I want it to be lower in number. And I'm going to have to match the numbers on something coming up here, which you'll see. So now I've got it processing and it's outputting into a folder that I have set up here for these types of videos. Um, there we go. So bam, here it is. And as you can see, this is a shot of it sequencing. So here it is putting it out frame by frame by frame by frame, each piece of the video. Well, while that is working on that, I am going to start setting up the images that I can based off of that first image that it did. And EB Synth, I'm going to get that up and running. All right, so EB Synth here, and I'm going in and taking a look at my folders where I have things. Um, so my EB folder, and I'm going in and picking the. Well, this is where my key is going to be. Um, that's what we're, so those folders that I set up are going to work towards this. So I'm going to set up the key and then all the others. And the key needs to match the first number in your sequence. So if it's one, it needs to be one. It ends up being based off of how many images you have in the sequence. So if it's one, even for just a short short sequence it's over 100 images so um, <clears throat> you know you get to 101 1001 pretty quick but you need to make it match so one way I can do this here is I go to night cafe and this is a AI um, image prompt to image making bot. it also does transferring of some images here's a bunch of stuff that I've made over time but we're gonna get one started here so we're gonna create Go to the style transfer and I'm going to upload the first image from that sequence. So the very first one that is from that video that's coming out. So now that the video started and I'm getting these images, I can let that run in the background while I'm getting this started. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick. As you can see here, there's many different like preset styles to choose from. I'm just picking one at random here to see how it turns out. And I try to do as high resolution as I can. Get that image working while that image is working. See where we're at. Our sequence is almost done. So we're getting there. And here's GIMP. Here is the image editing program that is free and you know I'll have links for all these websites for all these programs in the description of the video yeah you can do this all free the EV synth is free download it from their website this GIMP is free you can find probably free video editing software I use Adobe because I needed to upgrade to something that has a lot of like newer age functions and it's been really helpful in making better videos. And so that's the GIMP website. 
you can go there, get what you need, and you'd be sent here. So this is their website, their uh, splash page, whatever, and you can download it. Looks like Windows and Apple. They have example videos, and I found that their images work very well. But what I got to do first is I go in, I open GIMP, and then I'm going to drop in a image. So that first image, I am going to drop into GIMP. Now it's done, you can see here we're done, and bam, let's give a little scroll through and see. Boom, boom, boom. So this is scrolling through the pictures, and you can see frame by frame, it takes apart the video for you. So you get this frame by frame sequence, which is real nice, because then you can go in and you can use multiple keyframes, so that's where you can animate multiple frames. All right, so I've got my first image. I know where it's at, so I'm setting that as the first image and the sequence of all of them that I want to go into this new style format. So waiting on it to be done, boom, there we go. All right, well, I'm not gonna use this because I feel like there isn't enough detail to where it'll at least look decent and be able the AI be able to track the facial movements and stuff like that. So I'm going to try again. And there's uh you know there's like ones that I've used before that I like this time. I'm going to go with one that I've used before and I know that it makes uh, fairly decently detailed um, conversions of images. All right, now I've got that processing. I'll take a look at a few images here. As you can see, I create like you get five daily free credits on this website, so you don't have to pay anything to use this either. You can just keep getting the free credits and um, making images. That one's just artificial intelligence. I leave the prompt that I use as the title of the images so that I know. I mean, it saves your prompts in there anyways, but whatever, but I've done all kinds of stuff. Mushrooms and um, Dolly is how I created my logo for the my newest logo. Um, it's pretty cool. Winnie the Poohs, Eldritch Poo. Some terrifying, uh, scary, I was trying to see with that Winnie the Pooh blood and honey. <laughs> Let's see what we could do with some scary tiggers. Ooh, look at them. They're pretty creepy. There's a pretty cool one down there, I see. Yeah, look at that guy. Oh, look at these. Yeah, so I've done, made a lot of images with this. Bam, nice and creepy. And our image is done. So here it is, final image, and this is in com There's enough detail there to where I think we're gonna get a decent animation. And now I'm gonna go in and resize this image to the size of the original image that I dropped in there. I took, you know, image number one or 100 or 1000 or whatever it is and I dropped that into GIMP that way it gave me the size parameters that I needed I delete that photo out of there I drop this photo in I'll go in add an alpha channel and then start erasing and take out the background and I will drop in a green screen otherwise when you go to put it into things I think you get a black background I don't know but I drop a green screen into it just because that way I can chroma key it out every time and I don't have to worry about it bleeding over or anything. So as you can see with GIMP, it works really well. You're able to 
manipulate images pretty good well I mean there's even filters in here that you can use to change images around I would just want to show like a AI aspect of it so here is an AI image with going through an AI animation program uh, yeah it's an image of me because I record the video but you could essentially do this with any video out there really and animate it look at that boom go around erase around All right, fill in my green, and then, all right, so we fill in our green screen, we fill in our green screen background, and then I make sure to save this with the same file name as the image that I dropped into this. That's one of the most important parts to making this work. It's where I had the most struggle. It's because I just forgot and I kept kept naming the image key. That's just the name of the folder. Don't name your image key unless key is the first name, but it would have to be like key 01 or key 100 or whatever. You want to make sure that you name your key image the same as the first image in your sequence. That way, when you feed them both into the AI, it takes one and replaces it over one, right? And then from there, it builds out. And then as you go through, the AI images may not turn out amazing. You may have some issues with some motion while you're in there. It may not turn out perfect once you animate it. You may have some issues with, um, loss of detail or parts blurring together if there's a lot of movement without adding extra key images so you can add multiple keys in that software so i'm going to take another version so now i just drop that image in the first image in the sequence into gimp again and i'm going to draw over it so here we are we'll draw our guy boom 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 and all right so now that i've got my image again i'm going to export it with the first so <clears throat> so the way i did this one in the end is it took me a couple of tries i actually ended up shortening it because i lost i didn't want to do too many key images because that it's a lot of drawing and can be laborious. I wanted to show how you could do this a little bit quick. So I just cut a smaller portion of video, the first key image, and then ran it through all of these programs. And that's how I came up with the ending, the devil drawn on guy. So with this guy, I drop a green screen in behind him as well. That way I can add whatever backgrounds I want. I can give it my background if I were going to. I like green screening things out. It's a lot of fun for me. I like adding different backgrounds and kind of spicing it up and changing what you're looking at. Um, so once I have our images done, I got to run this second one through. So I'll plug it into EB Synth with the the smaller set of sequence images and I'm still using like the same numbers when I do it I just have their own folder sets and this is like set one set two EB image set one like I have it just numbered out and I know how it is so it's just keeping track of your files then once you get all those done what I'm gonna do is you go back into Adobe or whatever video editing program you're using and now you are going to import that sequence. It's very important that you make sure when you go to do this that you check that little box because you're going to go to where you had your the AI program, EV Synth, put it all together and run it through. So now you have your image sequence that you're going to convert back into video. So we're just going to reverse it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to import 
And you gotta make sure you click that little box there that says import PNG sequence. So I import the sequence and then all of a sudden I've got this sequence that I can now put on my timeline and it'll match and I matched it up so I made sure that everything was butted up against the start of the video and I'm building this out by itself and it's a video intro so I can build this out export it and then add it to the start of this explanation video so that's how I did that but what I did is I went in and import the sequence import both of them chop them up a little and then what we do is I add a bunch of other stuff. So I added some transitions, changed all those backgrounds out, chroma keyed out our um, green screens, a uh, bunch of different backgrounds, and it was kind of fun. I found some uh, PNG, free PNG videos of flames, so I could do the little devil guy with the flames behind him. And that's pretty much it. So... I used GIMP and, you know, my drawing is not great because I'm using, nah, it isn't in general, but I'm also using a mouse and it gets a little shaky and can be tedious. Uh, so drawing in a image program with a mouse is kind of difficult. Drawing with a mouse can be tedious, so if you have a drawing pad, use that. Maybe draw the image on a tablet or something. There's other ways to do it um, to add detail. But there it is. That's how I make these AI animated intros. There's people who do it much better than me. There's some great videos out there. I suggest you go down and check out all the links. It's going to be the information you need. And people who have much deeper explanations of how this works and who do a better job with multiple keyframes and can show you how that works and just the different videos that they made. So this was a combination of me, a couple of different AIs, and putting it all together. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris, this has been Understanding Tech, and hopefully you learned a little bit of something today you could take away and have a little fun with making some animated videos. I know I'm going to keep experimenting with it, and I've been trying to come up with some ideas of more videos to make with the animations and seeing the limitations of what I can do with it, um, just on a whim. I mean, I put together that intro in no time, recorded it on my phone, put it on the computer, chopped it up, and here we go. So... It took no time. I did it in a day. Uh, that's And not a full day of doing the work. This is doing it before and after going to work. So within a 24-hour period, I had that intro completed. And actually, this whole video with editing, with like minimal effort. And I screwed up some. And there's one part you don't see <laughs> where I had to run it through the image generators multiple times to get what I want and it just it can be a headache and tedious but it really wasn't that hard just to get that little bit you can make it much better I just wanted to show that on a whim you can make something kind of fun um, thank you for watching again I appreciate it. subscribe I'm gonna keep doing videos as I dig into these AI platforms and different technology and don't forget to check out Reckless, my non-alcohol part of my YouTube channel here. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.